Here you see an extracted bicuspid with two openings through the roof of a partially open pulpal axis. After opening the axis further, you see the oval shape of the canal with the buccolingual width as the major diameter. After irrigation with sodium hypochlorite, you can clearly see the oval borders of the pulp chamber. I am now using a 25 mm 08 reamer to probe the buccal and lingual canals to the apex. For the sake of this demonstration, I am purposely exiting the canals apically to assure patency. Once patency is established, I routinely place the reamers into the reciprocating handpiece at a speed of approximately 3,000 to 4,000 oscillations per minute. In this case, the first reamer used in the reciprocating handpiece was a number 10. I followed up the number 10 reamer with the number 15 relieved reamer. Please note that it only takes a few strokes with each reamer before proceeding to the next. Once the canals have been opened to a 20, we widen and straighten the coronal two-thirds of the canal with the tapered piezo, used with a slow speed handpiece rotating at approximately 1000 to 1500 RPM. Here you clearly see the two canals after they have been straightened and widened with the tapered piezo. After using the tapered piezo, we make sure that we still have patency by negotiating beyond the constriction with the number 20 relieved reamer. Here you can see the pathway of each canal. With patency established, shaping the canal through a 40 takes a very short time. The final shaping of the canal is done with the 2506 relieved NITI reciprocating reamer. After irrigation, you can see the final shape of the canal. After the final shaping, I use the 3004 in the reciprocating handpiece to activate irrigants and smooth out the walls of the canals. Here you see a higher magnification view of the canals after the activation of the irrigants. Hopefully this little video gives you some sense at the speeds used with the reciprocating handpiece and the tapered piezo to both shape and straighten the canals.